Mormon. Critics of the Book of Mormon have pointed out that a major flaw is how the Book of Mormon mentions horses. It's fiction. It's not Delar. a historical document. The text of the Book of Mormon mentions horses, but there were no horses in the Americas during the time frame of the Book of Mormon. Well, some brand new research published this week in the Texas Journal of Science challenges that assumption. Welcome to another edition of Reactions with Jackson. Shout out to Daniel Hailstone6280 in the comments. I asked last video if you guys had a better name for the series to go ahead and leave it in the comments and homeboy came through. We'll go with ja reactions with Jacksons for this video. After reading all those comments, I realized that there's a lot better name choices and so I'm probably gonna change the name every episode. So leave an option in the comments and I'll choose the best one and give you a shout out. The video in question today is a product of a very long conversation I had with one of you. One of our viewers reached out to me and uh, we hopped on a phone call for a while and a majority of that phone call was spent talking about horses. Horses, 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 horses. And I don't mean any disrespect to the viewer that this conversation was had with. It just, after listening to that conversation and how much that that was an issue, I'm like, bro, we gotta, we gotta settle this or see how much we can settle this. So I went on the good old Chinese spyware of TikTok using a VPN, of course. Shout out to the terms and conditions. And uh, let's get right into it. For a long time, critics of the Book of Mormon have pointed out that a major flaw is how the Book of Mormon mentions horses, even though horses were extinct in Book of Mormon times and didn't get reintroduced into the Americas until Columbus. Well, some well. brand new research published this week in the Texas Journal of Science challenges that assumption because a team of researchers in Mexico... Wait, this week... This was posted in October, October 18th of 2022, so... ...discovered horse bones that date to Book of Mormon times. These horse remains were excavated from a site near Cedral, San Luis Potosí, in Mexico. Heartlanders, chill out for a second, all right? Maybe they're digging more in Mexico. And to figure out when these horse bones dated to, the researchers obtained radiocarbon dating. Equus cabal. What does equus mean? Let's see. Uh, a genus of family, equida. Oh, basically is the scientific name for horse. I'm silly. Each archaeological layer or strata from charcoal and other organic material close to the horse. And now you've got to see just how perfectly these dates line up with the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon mentions horses only a handful of times, and we have radiocarbon dates that may attest to horses in all of these. So let's see real quick. The first time chronologically that it mentions horses in the Book of Mormon is obviously in Ether. But when Nephi and his boys show up, it says in uh, 1 Nephi 18, 25, he says, that there was beasts in the forest of every kind, both the cow and the ox and the ass and the Hayden, stop editing it out. It's a donkey. And the horse and the goat and the wild goat. Good they made the distinction of the goats there. But that's the first time, I guess, in the narrative that it mentions horses. Periods. Two of the radiocarbon dates found near the horse remains came from the mid-second millennium BC, which is about when the Jaredites mentioned horses in Ether chapter 9. Another dates to the 6th or 5th century BC, which is close to Nephi's arrival in the Promised Land when he mentions horses, and also to Enos's when he mentions many horses. The final mention of horses in the Book of Mormon comes from the Gadianton siege during the 1st century AD in 3rd Nephi, and two radiocarbon dates supports the presence of horses during this period as well. Now the type of horse they found is also important because it shows that these bones wouldn't have been Spanish horses that somehow got inserted into earlier archaeological layers. All horse samples that were found after the Ice Age but before Columbus in the site belong to North American horse species that are now extinct, Equus mexicanus and Equus conversidens. The horses the Spanish brought over are the Equus caballus. Evidence is always tentative, but this possibly pushes the extinction of the North American horse way later than many scientists have assumed. And this is consistent with a growing body of evidence that suggests that at least some pockets of horses may have survived for several millennia after the last ice age, which parallels well with what we see in the Book of Mormon. To learn more, check out the newest article published by Book of Mormon Central, No I-649, and follow along for more Book of Mormon evidence. Now, I feel like this should be such a non-issue right now, if this is all true. So let's do our due diligence, shall we? Let's look up the Texas Journal of Science. And, re and try to make sense of all this. All right, so I'll be honest, my smarts is defined, I, I think, a little bit more by street smarts. Uh, I haven't read too many science journals in my day, so we use the help of Google a lot to understand this. And some important things to note, the guy that did this research and study, uh, the main dude, his name is Wade Miller. And I think it is important to note that he is... Uh, a previous professor of 
the Department of Geological Sciences at BYU. But this is the Texas Journal of Science, so it is a very reputable source. So some specific highlights that I want to share from the article. I guess when you're carbon, radiocarbon dating bones, you use the collagen that is left somehow inside the bones. I don't know, I'm gonna sound so stupid making this video. <laughs> but what they did to supplement the lack of that collagen is that they used the nearest organic material to those horse bones. Um, and so it says, we completely agree with statements that an assessed charcoal sample, so they used charcoal that was right next to the bones, recovered adjacent to a skeletal element does not necessarily create a precise age for the vertebrate specimen. However, some radiocarbon dated charcoal samples were recovered from within millimeters of horse bones. Equus bones, but means horse. And then in the conclusion, it says, the remains of horses that we recovered from the dig site RC, from multiple stratigraphic layers, all with associated radiocarbon dates, all in a fair stratigraphic continuum, these are some big words for me, and showing no mixing between geological units imply that horses may have persisted in this region of Mexico well after the classical late Pleistocene extinction time, basically the generally accepted time in which horses went extinct in the Americas. And it continues on saying, we suggest that researchers view our data set as well as others as a developing hypothesis, which is testable rather than just avoided. So kind of what I've seen and shout out to you guys that have seen like Ancient Apocalypse on Netflix with Graham Hancock and some of these other people that are trying to expose the, the academic community for being so stuck in their ways with discoveries that have been made in the past that anything that is found outside of that paradigm just needs to be ignored. It seems like that, that has been a theme with horses and the extinction thereof in the North American continent. In total, what it looks like this study shows is that there's nothing absolutely concrete conclusive that horses existed at that time, but it's enough evidence for everyone to chill out, okay? And some of you may be watching this and be like, why is he even talking about this? Like horses isn't even a big deal, like nobody talks about this. I'm talking about it and I think, I think it's important to note this because one of that conversation that I had with one of our viewers and two, because of this subsequent video that I found as well. It's fiction. It's not Don't a historical worry. document. The text of the Book of Mormon mentions horses, which it does, but there were no horses in the Americas during the time frame of the Book of Mormon. Because the Spaniards brought them over yeah, they in had, the 1500, 1400s. They had existed in the Americas before the, the Book of Mormon the, times. The Plasticine time, exactly, era. Like, long right. time ago. Ice Age stuff. And were ex extinct, right. right? And so there were no horses. And then Joseph Smith's environment included horses in the Americas. And so he writes it into the text of the Book of Mormon. He doesn't know any better. So this is just one of many videos that I've seen in regards to this topic. And clearly from the conversation that I had the other day that this is a pillar that people still stand on that are critical towards the Book of Mormon that point to you and be like, you were so silly for believing the Book of Mormon because clearly horses didn't exist at the time period in which the Book of Mormon states they did. And what I would say after looking into this research is maybe it's not as clear and cut and dry as they say it is. So when we have a text in front of us like the Book of Mormon that makes claims like having horses pre-Columbian in the Americas, we should do the research and see what information is available but we also need to remember that lack of evidence for the Book of Mormon is not always evidence against the Book of Mormon. And so what we do have in front of us is a promise given at the end of the record from Moroni that if we read, ponder, and pray, and ask God with a sincere heart and real intent, that he will make the truth of it known to us by his spirit. And so that is what I have done, and that is why I feel good about being patient for history and archaeology to catch up with the Book of Mormon. So let's all stay faithful, patient, curious, and hungry.